All right, folks, we're going to find distance and time when given an acceleration and velocity. I only have five minutes to do this. So I have to do it fast. Start walking with an acceleration of eight feet per three seconds every second. And you reach a velocity of 10 feet per second. How long did it take you to reach that velocity? So I'm going to deal with that first. So the first thing I'm going to do is write in my velocity, which is 10 feet per second. And I'm going to put that over my acceleration, which was eight feet per second. 3 seconds squared, and I write that because I want to multiply by the reciprocal, which is 3 seconds squared all over 8 feet. And I do that so it's easier to see how I cancel out appropriately. Seconds cancel out with two, one of the two there. And when I multiply across, I'm going to be left with 30 seconds all over 8, and 30 divided by 8 is... 3.75 seconds. So it took me 3.75 seconds to reach that velocity of 10 feet per second. Then it asked me how far did you go in those first three seconds. So I'm looking for a distance now. So my distance is equal to one half the acceleration which was or is 8 feet per 3 seconds squared. I'm going to multiply that by the time which is how far did I go in three seconds. So three seconds goes there, and don't forget I have to square it. Um, first thing I could do would be to reduce this down to four, and then when I rewrite that, I'm going to be left with four feet per three seconds squared, and I'm going to, don't forget I have to square my three, three, and my second, my second, so three times three is nine, second times a second is a second squared, which then nicely helps me reduce this second squared, second squared. I could also reduce my 3 and my 9 down to just 3, and I multiply across, so 4 times 3 is 12, and my only units are feet. So in 3 seconds, I go 12 feet. So the last part of the question says, well, uh, after that burst of speed, you end up walking 7 feet per second. If you wanted to walk a total of a mile, which is 5,280 feet, how many seconds did it take you to walk? So you need to know a couple of things. So in seconds 0 through 3, you went 12 feet. All right. How far do you have to go to reach that mile? So you have to subtract. And so then you're going to walk 7 feet per second. That's our new velocity, 7 feet per second. That doesn't look like an F. And since I've already done 12 feet in those first three seconds, I now only have to walk 5,268 feet. So that's my new distance. So I'm going to use my, well, how long is it going to take me in terms of time, which is equal to the change in distance divided by the velocity. So my change in time is equal to my new distance, which is 5, 2, 6, 8 feet. My new velocity, which is 7 feet per 1 second. And I'm going to multiply this by the reciprocal. And when I do that, my feet are going to cross out with feet. Let me get rid of this now since I multiplied by the reciprocal. And when I multiply across, I'm going to get 5,268 seconds all over 7. And when I divide that, I'm going to get 752.5 seconds. So I'm going to add that, my 752.5 seconds, to my 12 seconds. I'm sorry, to my 3 seconds that it took me to go those 12 feet. Sorry. And the total time will be 755.5 seconds. Okay, that's how you do it.